Hello ACC 322 students, Professor Geiger here. This is my story about my career in governmental accounting and I'm hoping I'll spark some interest in you in governmental accounting as a career option. Wow, it seems like yesterday I was in your position studying uh, for my uh, Bachelor of Science degree in accounting. After I did graduate, I went on and got my CPA certificate and then my Master's in Business Administration. On the following slide, I'll tell you about my career before the federal government in private industry. For 15 years before working for the government, I worked in small business accounting, doing debits and credits. I went on to learn about computer accounting applications, software and spreadsheets. I then went on to become a corporate controller, managing accounting processes and staff, and then a VP of finance and CFO. I think I know what you're thinking. Hold on, does that mean I'm gonna to have to work 15 years before getting a job with the government? No, that's just the path that I chose personally. We're going to give you some material at the end of this video about current jobs in the federal government. I worked in three general areas in the government, the Department of Treasury, the Department of Interior, and the Millennium Challenge Corporation. The one thing that tied these three government agencies together for me was the Chief Financial Officers Act, which standardizes the reporting. The Chief Financial Officers Act of 1990 actually uh, standardizes how government agencies handle um, accounting and financial reporting. So in my case, the work that I did at the three different agencies was very similar in nature. Please be aware that we do not cover uh, finan uh, federal financial accounting in this class. We cover only state government accounting. But in our textbook, there is chapter 19, which you have, if you have some time, take a look at it. Federal government accounting does not follow GASB. It follows another standard. If you have some time, look at chapter 19 and, and the federal government accounting section in the textbook. One thing that is worth noting is that federal government accounting has their own accounting standards board. It's called the Federal Accounting Standards Advisory Board, FASAB, not to be confused with FASB, which is for private sector. I know this is way too small to read, but this is an excerpt of the 2016 Statement of Net Cost. It has Treasury, Interior, and the Millennium Challenge Corporation where I worked. The real thing to note is the bottom line total is 4.5 trillion. Lots of opportunities for accountants. To relate this discussion back to what we've been covering in the few, first few weeks of class, we've been studying an awful lot about the CAFR reports. In the federal government, they have something called the Agency Financial Report, which is the type of thing I worked on, which is very similar to the state and municipal CAFR reports. Sorry, I didn't have time to mention this in the last slide. The AGA, Association of Government Accountants, and if you look at the URL address here, they are an organization that rates the federal government financial reporting process along with the state CAFR reports as well. So as we finish up this uh, discussion, I wanted to point you to my SNHU and the Career Services Center. And there's lots of inter interesting information here, especially look at this August 15th uh, webinar coming up about employment with the Department of Homeland Security, one of the federal government agencies. By the way, if you can't make that August 15th uh, webinar, all the webinars recorded here, there's lots of other really interesting ones about federal government careers. Perhaps we'll talk more about this at another time, but anybody looking for a job in the federal government has to get used to the process through USA Jobs for submitting an application for a job with the federal government. I mentioned this earlier, but it's worth repeating again. In that webinar section on my SNHU, there's lots of good information about USA Jobs and filing a federal job application. I am quickly running out of time for this video. I hope you have enjoyed the 
uh, material. I have my contact information if you ever need uh, to talk to me about your career plans or especially with state or federal government uh, careers, please feel free to contact me.